Now then guys, I'm back and today I'm in the beautiful country of Spain. I am away on a family holiday at the minute, but I've been itching to do this uh, this mountain since I booked it. So yeah, the missus has given me a pass to go climb it. <laughs> Hence why I've got all the gear. So uh, yeah, the peak that we're going to be doing is Monte Cala Mora, I believe. Not entirely sure. That's, that's how you say it, but yeah. So uh, yeah, let's have a hot, sweaty hike. See what it's like. Let's go. So, if you're coming and doing this route, see the big, big bridge behind, big motorway bridge. That, just underneath there, is where the start point is. And then you do come to these two little signs, one behind and one behind. This one behind tells you about the flowers, the other one tells you about the wildlife that you can see, potentially. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm getting a vibe already just of uh, how Kilimanjaro was. <laughs> Where you gotta pass up through the trees and stuff like that to actually get onto the mountain. But this isn't a overly big mountain, this is about 780 meters. So it's, uh, yeah, it's not too tough. Just nice and steady. Don't wanna kill ourselves in this heat. So uh, yeah, enjoy the video and let's get through it. So we're just passing up now through the woodland or jungle or whatever they want to call it here. But yeah, just passing up, getting a nice little bit of shade. But I've still got a, a reet dab on. So uh, yeah, it's nice. It's going to be a good little tester, is this, especially in this heat. But I'm getting uh, Kilimanjaro vibes from when I did that. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, you're going up through a the jungle, then you just get to the mountain top. Similar here, just on a very, very, very small scale. And it's not raining, it's like it was in the rainforest area. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's crack on, see what this is like. But so far, I keep getting a glimpse of the mountain. It looks like a night, right, nice little beauty. <laughs> so uh, yeah, come on then, let's go. Hey, little lizard. We've just got to another information board and this one says we have something that kind of looks a little bit like eagle type thing but it's not and then to keep a look out for snakes serpentine heragera 
brilliant. I mean, I could have swore that I'd seen some on the way up, but I've also seen lizards as well, so could have been them. But yeah, time to uh, probably watch where I'm taking me uh, taking me route now or planning my route, and uh, yeah, keep an eye out just so I don't stand on one of them and get bitten, because uh, that won't go down well, especially with the uh, the missus if I have to go to hospital on a family holiday. <laughs> Brilliant. So I'm not sure if you can see, but just behind you have the home of Benella Medina and then Torremolinos, just a bit further up. But about here on the camera, that's where the motorway bridge is and that's where you start. So we've come up quite a way already along, up through like a little bit of jungle, forest, whatever they want to call it, a little bit of woodland around here. But the view all around is absolutely insane so the only thing i'm ever worried about now on this is the snakes <laughs> i mean i did know a little bit about them before i come just making out as if i'm scared which i am because i don't want to get bit no <laughs> i did know about them but but yeah i'm not overly worried i can always give them a boot hit them with stick or all like that so yeah, I'm not overly fussed. Be nice to see one though. You know, just to say that I've seen it. Something like that. But yeah. So, uh, yeah, I believe we're making his way up towards the ridge line. And then we're going to go across then. And then uh, ascend upwards slowly to uh, the top of Monte Calamaro, I believe. I mean, I will double check and I'll probably show you a a sign once I'm at the top because I would have thought they'd have one seeing as they have a cable car up there so uh, yeah right let's crack on show you the rest of this route to the top of Monte Carrara Moro <laughs> let's go Voila. So we're now on the straight route to the top of Monte Calamaro, which it is called that, because I've just looked. But yeah, the route for the past, I don't know, half a mile that I've come, very, very sandy, and just loose rock everywhere, making it an absolute nightmare to walk in, especially when it's going in my shoes. I should really have some, uh, some trail running covered. Richard at home in England, so they're not much use there. But yeah, so with this here is actually a mountain biking route as well, as you'll probably have seen on the uh, other video if I've left it in, where the bloke goes past someone. But yeah, that sun is absolutely blistering. Whew. I mean, you've got the communications towers over here, just behind, which is what I thought I was going to. But it turns out I'm not. I thought I was going there and then coming along on this ridge line all the way across. But it turns out I'm not. But I'm still happy either ways. I'm out walking, doing a mountain. Yes. Woohoo! <laughs> I mean, it did take some persuading to even get out onto the mountain, especially with it being a family holiday. But, yeah, she knows that this is what I love to do. So, uh, yeah, why not? Get out, get a mountain done in Spain, get back, enjoy it then. Go down to the splash park, chill out, water slides. Woo. 
<laughs> but yeah, I mean, I think I've been watching too many David Attenborough documentaries as well. I mean, where the snakes are buried in the sand, and that's all that's been on my head all the way up that bit. <laughs> Either that or we're going to drop out of a tree onto my neck or something. <sighs> but yeah, anyways, enough of me babbling on. Let's crack on and get to the top of Monte Calamoro. The peak of Monte Calamoro is just behind me now and you've got the path probably just about here which is a fairly steep ascent but it goes left to right so it's just like a snaky winding path. I mean if you've ever done sail in the Lake District that's pretty much what it's like going up but uh, yeah so we're nearly there now and the view overlooking I think that is Torremolinos now just behind is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> This is exactly why I enjoy doing the mountains. Nothing beats this sense of achievement as well. You know, all the hard work, get to the top, enjoy the view, get yourself back down then. Although on this, if I really, really wanted to, I could catch a cable car down. But I'm not lazy. So uh, yeah, let's push for this last bit. Show you what it's like. almost at the trail now where the cable cart stops and lets everyone else off so we'll be joining paths with that bit now so it's probably going to get a little bit busier I mean how beautiful is all that behind you've got uh, Mijas I believe it's called behind towering it up but yeah then you've got big quarry mountains in the distance the place is absolutely beautiful I mean you can see right over, I think, is it Fengarola? Something like that. And then round the corner, which I don't think you can see, is Marbella. Whew. But yeah, once we get to the top, we'll have a look and see what we can see. No doubt the view is going to be absolutely awesome. So, uh, yeah, on that note, let's get up. Way up. Top of Monte Carola. I 
Nice. I mean, Tara Molinos is over along there. Along the Medina, over that way. He's got Malaga behind. Nice. Oh, I show you. Thank you. So that was the top of Monte Cangamoro where it seems they have a birds of prey centre, a little bit of uh, food and drink up there and obviously you've got the cable cars bringing everybody up, just cheating but I suppose if you don't want to do the, the hike up then uh, yeah it's well worth it. I mean the views are absolutely insane, I mean I do get a little bit camera shy when I'm at the top if there's a lot of people but yeah I mean I still showed the full view you can see everywhere. Torremolinos, Fuelengo, Fuelengo, whatever it's called, Benella Madonna, where we're staying. I mean, you can probably just see a little bit of uh, Marbella, but yeah, it's an absolutely unreal, unreal place. Definitely worth the visit. And I mean, like I say, if you uh, if you don't want to do the hike, you can always catch a cable car. But the views now coming down are just as good. I mean, I don't see them coming up as much because obviously I'm coming through the jungle and stuff like that, or the trees, whatever they want to call it. But yeah, now you uh, you have the view of all of this. How nice is that overlooking Torre Molinos? Absolutely unbelievable. So, time now to get down, get a shower, and go enjoy the rest of the day with the kids, the missus, and some of her family. So I don't know if you can see it, but just above my head is where the cable cart shop is. So that is where it takes you from right down at the bottom. And yeah, it is absolutely even. I'm assuming we're gonna end up going underneath the cable cart lines. But yeah, the views on this route are just absolutely incredible. I mean, there's a point once to get round here where you'll be able to see right over Torre Molinos, possibly right over to uh, Benalla, Madden, Madonna. I don't know. <laughs> Jeez. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll show you that view as well. It's absolutely unreal. 
fucking red hot. I'm melting. Oh, bit of shit. It's over. <laughs> right, let's crack on. So we've come to some little religious like uh, temple sort of thing. I mean it has the mega big cross behind if you can just see it here that you can see right from down the mountain. But yeah you can see little Jesus or Mary and Jesus. I'm not quite sure, don't know what sort of religious thing it is. So uh, yeah, out of respect I'm not gonna mess around, I'm gonna try to find out. If there's a way in and all like that, you know, I'll leave it as it is. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool though to see it's uh, on the side of a mountain. Not that I'd really want to uh, hike up and uh, come do some prayers up here, although I do like the hiking bit. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty cool place. So, now we're gonna head underneath the cable cats and then we're gonna head back round to the point where we started. Hey, we're nearly there. Stay tuned though, because the views are still absolutely mega. Right, let's crack on. So, just above my head is the peak of Monte Cangamaro and uh, from here, it looks like an absolute beast but I mean, it's only 780 metres I believe in height so it's, uh, yeah, it's not, it's not mega big it's not really that hard but the heat really does make it that little bit harder plus, well, whoa ah the loose rock so uh, yeah but uh, I don't know I'm lost for words it's a good it's a good little toughie it's a good toughie I mean it catches you off guard I suppose with the heat and uh, yeah everything else that's involved with it but it's a beautiful beautiful mountain right let's get down because we're nearly there Whew. I have just found the coolest sign ever. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> yep, 
with Monte Carola, Mora in the back. This place is unreal. Right, time to finish the route. So we're gonna wrap it up now. So as you can see, the bridge is in the background. But yeah, so that was Monte Calamoro in Spain. And what a beauty that is. I mean, it's not really that hard. It's just red hot and I mean hot. So uh, yeah, take plenty of water, which is why I've had the uh, water bladder on, just so it makes it a lot easier. But yeah, absolutely unreal, seeing loads of geckos or lizards or whatever they are. I mean, I didn't see any snakes, but yeah. But yeah, once you are at the top, be warned, it is very busy with everyone coming up on the cable cart. So uh, yeah, I mean, and that's another way if you want to get up it. If you want to get up without actually doing a hike, then there is cable carts to take you up. And there is a birds of prey and uh, food and drink stall up there as well. So uh, yeah. But for me now, I'm gonna go back, meet the missus, kids, and the rest of her family. And we're gonna enjoy the rest of the holiday. But I had to get out and do that. <laughs> so uh, yeah, on that note, if you've enjoyed the, the video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.